Hey everybody, welcome back to Tim Travels. It's uh, Terry, your host. Hey, so um, I've seen some stuff on the uh, internet, on YouTube, um, and comments, different people's channels about GP Transco, the company I work for, being a, uh, a dictatorship. And so I was like, all right, well, let me let me do some digging. Let me think about this. Let me let me look at my situation, talk to some other drivers, and find out if if GP Transco is really a dictatorship. So, what I've learned is that GP Transco operates like a lot of trucking companies. You show up. They tell you what their policies are. They assign you a truck. Then, via electronic means, they start telling you where to go. And they start telling you who to talk to and giving you sets of numbers to tell people. So people will put stuff in your trailer or tell you a different trailer to get. And then when you get that trailer, they want to know what trailer number it is. And then they expect you to follow their instructions on when to take it to the spot that they told you to take it. They got a lot of rules. Um, they got a fence around the place. Um, when you go to the terminal in Illinois, um, they have expectations for you. Um, you got to, you know, certify your logs all the time. You got to do it when they say so a lot of it resembles dictatorships you know a lot of it resembles um, you know telling you what to do all the time and let me say this you know they they sometimes they try to intimidate you by like calling you on the phone and stuff when you're driving and or emailing you or sending you a message and expecting you to respond in a timely manner and I don't like that when they try to intimidate me you know I'm a I'm a black Irish Catholic guy with the minor case of plantar fasciitis and I grew up in Western New York I don't scare easily I don't it takes a lot more than that to intimidate me so, you know, I'm, I'm kind of on to them. I'm kind of on to them. You know, and, and, and let, let me just say from a personal standpoint, you know, I spent over 20 years in the U.S. Navy, and I'll be damned if I did that so I could work for an organization that expects me to follow rules and do what they say. And then, you know, just in exchange for being paid what I was told I would be paid. Um, that doesn't sound like anything I signed up for. So, <clears throat> if you're like me and you want to work for a company where you can do whatever the hell you want, whenever you want, and still get paid plenty of money, I don't think GP Transco is the place to come because it's kind of like a dictatorship. Wait. Well, I guess it's kind of like every other company I ever worked for. Because that's kind of how companies are. They kind of have a set of rules and expect you to uh, adhere to them. And <clears throat> when you do what you're supposed to do, they're more than happy to give you a paycheck at the end of the week. But anyway, if you're not afraid of dictatorships... Maybe GP Transco is a good place for you to think about working. I like it. By the way, I ran like over 3,700 miles last week. And that's sort of kind of eight and a half days because of the way the pay periods work. But still not too shabby. Anyway, I hope, I hope you uh, have a good evening. And uh, stay safe out there. And, um, you know, just remember that <clears throat> if you don't want to work for a company that's a dictatorship, you know, start your own company and don't have any rules. Just let your employees do whatever they want. It might work out. 
Anyway, talk to you later. Bye.